In this video, we will be teaching you how to properly measure pin height. The tools needed for this measurement are the pin height gauge and calipers provided by Cody and the can manufacturer's spec sheet. With the screw jog to home or can at dwell start and the lifter pad engaged, we can see what pin height looks like. Pin height is defined as the distance between the bottom of the chuck and the lifter in the raised position. This is a crucial parameter for quality assurance. Set too low and you may damage cans. Set too high and you may have leaky seams. The pin height gauge and calipers provided by Cody will allow measurement of this distance. The specification tolerances for pin height are extremely tight, so precision is important. The pin height gauge has a lock and height adjustment. Now dial the pin height gauge down to a height where it can be slid easily onto the lifter pad and not make contact with the op rolls. Rotate the top of the gauge to raise until first contact with the chuck. There should be no light seen between the chuck and the gauge, but the gauge should still be able to be freely moved around. Continue increasing the height of the gauge to the point where it requires two hands, one on the top of the gauge and one on the bottom to slide the gauge back and forth. Once the proper tension is achieved, Spin the collar into place to lock in the gauge height. Even though the lock collar is in place at this point, be careful not to let the top or base rotate. Take care while moving around after the gauge is removed from the lifter pad. When the calipers turn on, set to imperial or metric based on the can manufacturer's spec sheet. While taking this measurement, it's very important to make sure the calipers sit flush against the top and base of the pin height gauge to get an accurate measurement. A couple thousandths of an inch make all the difference for this set point. It is also a good idea to take a few separate measurements in case the calipers sit a little off axis or anything skews the numbers on one or two of the readings. Compare your current pin height to the values provided on the spec sheet. To be considered in spec, the pin height needs to be within at minus five thousandths to plus ten thousandths of the provided value. If the measured pin height is outside of this range, please refer to the pin height adjustment video.